Hello, gangies. This is Chris, Scuba Chris from Hawaii. I just got a nice box in the mail, and I think I know what's in it. It's from Okuma Fishing. Recently, I became a pro staffer with Okuma Fishing, but not under directly with um, Okuma. It's, it's with the Savage Gear and especially Water Wolf. And I think this is my, my Water Wolf um, underwater video camera. Let's go open this up. Yes. Right here. We have our Water Wolf camera. This took iCast by Storm in 2014. They first came out with their underwater camera that year. Uh, this year, the beginning of this year, 2016, they came out with this unit, the 1.1. So I recently became part of that family and now I got mine. All right, so what does the unit come with? Comes with the lens protector and the lens protector, you put your um, mounting stick on this one here. And the reason for that is this is how you open up the unit in the back it has a double um, o-ring seal so slide that through kind of half turn it to the left and see so you open it up and then here is where you you charge you can see you can charge your unit and it, that's also where your SD micro SD card goes okay it comes with your um, charger cord so you put the end in there uh, it doesn't come with the micro SD card. You have to supply your own, okay? So when you put the cap on, see it's a bullet shaped cap with two O-ring seals on it. You kind of kind of have kind of use this bar here, and you have to give it uh, like a a slow right hand turn coming down, and make sure it's sealed all the way because that those two O-rings is gonna keep everything out of there and keep your internals nice and dry. That's how you seal it, all right? Take the cap back off. It comes with a float. So, you know, when you're um, bobbing fishing like this, you can have the float on the top, and that way you have a unique perspective going down. This is the standard accessory pack it comes with. It actually comes with more than just the universal fishing mounting kit. It also comes with a vertical fishing mounting kit and a bottom fishing kit, okay? but you have to order that comes with the GoPro type of mount here so when you attach your mount it, you can put whatever accessories you want in this it also comes with three bronze weights here and each weight when you when you slide it when you slide it on your connector here it will allow the unit to the heavier weight will allow it to pan up like that so you can see more on the surface the lighter weights the medium weight will will cause it to angle more like that the and the very lightweight will make it go straight like that so um i bought this mostly for casting i'd be casting it offshore it's roughly the look and the weight and feel of a um lure see that like a mark white lure um if you're used to that you're gonna like this so i'm gonna give this a try see what happens and hopefully I'll get some awesome videos off of this. Thank you. Aloha guys. This is the new Camel Green Water Wolf 1.1 camera. This is new for 2016. It's a great, great underwater camera that I hope to use a lot for my filming videos. It's great for trolling, casting, bottom fishing and it has a floating apparatus so it can float and it's um, good also for jigging straight up and down depends on what accessory packs you get it, it comes with a bottom fishing kit a vertical fishing kit but the one I highlighted and showed you a picture of was the universal fishing mount kit now you have to get a um, micro SD card you, um, you get a 32 gigabyte card That'll last you for four hours of continuous filming. That's pretty darn good. This is good to 120 meters, which is 393.7 feet. Wow. 
It has an anti-wobbling retrieve because the original ones kind of wobble. This one's especially weighted in shape, so it's going to go straight through the water. You're not going to get that wobbling effect anymore. So it has a built-in mic, so you're going to catch the sound effects even in the water, uh, like the bubbles and everything when a fish hits. It has low light shooting, which means under um, dawn, it should be able to catch some detail on what's going on without an external light source. 720p high definition that's pretty good for a little camera like this all right it comes with a rechargeable lithium ion battery so at full charge is good for four hours so when the light's showing on in the back of this unit do not pull out the sd card you wait for the light to go off before you pull it out otherwise you could damage the card all right it weighs only 58 grams that's two points zero five ounces and it's, it's shaped like a normal lure so it's going to be very streamlined in the water the length of this is 120 millimeters which is 4.72 inches so like i said it looks and feels like a normal lure um, it has a wide angle lens here it is 120 by 90 so it's going to capture some awesome videos here and it like I said it does not come with the micro SD card you have to get that on your own but get the 32 gig I mean with the 32 gig you be able to put four hours continuous shooting because the battery will be able to handle that okay the main feature of this unit is if your main line breaks um, the, with the way that the attachments go with this unit the camera will float up to the top before it would just sink, but this one it will float up to the top. That's a great, great addition to the Water Wolf um, advancements. So I'm going to give this a try and see what happens. Thank you. Aloha, guys. Scuba Chris back. I'm having, I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to mount the mounting bracket onto the camera. I mean, if you follow the directions here, you're supposed to be lining, looks like you line up this rod here with the rod receiver here. Look at that. Exactly the same length and it's supposed to snap on. I was ready to fling this thing. I was getting mad. I couldn't figure it out. I look online. There's nothing online, and they even had a guy online in Europe who actually just took the unit like that and tight strapped it on because he was so frustrated. So I, I kind of calmly went away from the information and I looked at this by itself and I found out something that's not mentioned in the instructions. Pull this, this, this little black thing here, pull it. Oh, it it's a coating that covers this thing, this little wire, there. Look at it, see, look, you're exposing the wire now, okay? But this, that much left, see, there's about a quarter inch left there. It, you find out that you're supposed to stick this tube in the cap in the front like that. And when you do that, look at that. Now the whole wire is exposed. Now we can See, look at that. Now, this wire will fit like so. Push this back in, and you get that little bit left there. Run it through. There it is. Now it's all nice and taut. Just figured that out. Uh, and it has a poor guy on YouTube that actually three thick tie straps across this. I just wanted to point this out because I got a feeling I might not be the only one having problems with this. Thanks.